Hey everybody, welcome back to part four of building your own crypto portfolio tracking app. This video is going to cover how to set up import JSON in your Google Sheets to be able to retrieve from an API a list of all valid and existing crypto asset names. And this is going to set up the foundation for future ability in our app to automatically retrieve current prices and other features that we can add. What I'm going to show you today is a way to do it without any additional cost on your current app sheet plan. Using a sheet, we're going to use a custom Google app script function. First, we're going to create our custom script. So to create this custom script, we're going to navigate to this GitHub page that has this custom script that we can just copy and paste. I'll include this in the video notes below. We'll do control A to select all and then copy the entire script in the spreadsheet itself we're going to go to extensions and click on app script and then we're going to replace this function with the new function we'll give it a name then we're going to deploy this and then we're going to select web app and then click deploy we'll click authorize access and then now that the, now that this is deployed it's ready to be used so now that we've set up this function, we're going to also make sure that we have this function update on a routine basis. So we're going to go to triggers and we're going to add a trigger to our app. And we're going to select our import JSON function. And then we're going to choose our a time driven source here and we can just run it hourly and then click save. So this will trigger the import JSON functions that we add to the app to automatically refresh on a hourly basis. What this script does, it allows us to import any API uh, and create a flattened response in two dimensions uh, that is suitable for app sheet use. So I've created a new sheet. We're going to call this asset list. Okay. And we're going to be using the CoinGecko API. So CoinGecko is a cryptocurrency market aggregator tool that aggregates price information from all the different cryptocurrency exchanges. So I won't go into the documentation on the API. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to go really quickly and we're, we're going to use this endpoint here with the import JSON function. So as you can see, after the function runs, it's generated a list of all supported assets. And this is going to form the basis of a reference table that the app can use to retrieve a list of, of assets in the app. We'll make this a read-only table because we're not going to write to it. All right, with this table added to the app, we can now create a reference to the table for our asset name. So we're going to come here to asset name and we're going to choose a reference column and then we're going to point that at the asset list table. In the asset list table itself, we're going to make sure that the label set appropriately. So this could work as the name, but maybe I want the name and symbol to be together. I'm going to go ahead and create a virtual column here and I'm going to concatenate the name of the asset with the symbol in parentheses. This way I could be absolutely sure that I'm picking the right asset from the drop down list if the names are similar. And then I'm going to make that the label. And I'll hit save. So now in the app, if we were to go ahead and create a new asset and we choose in type, and under asset name from the drop down menu, I see a list of all the different assets from that API now that will stay in sync with whatever the current market is doing. So with that, that wraps up this video. We've successfully connected our app to an API data source using import JSON that's connected to a Google Sheet. We'll continue our API connections with CoinGecko in the next video where we set up the ability to retrieve a list of current prices from the CoinGecko API. So our app automatically retrieves the current prices and maintains the current prices so we don't need to update those thanks everybody for watching please let me know if you have any questions and have a good one